Amina, that ye may be healed. I'm healed tonight. I am healed tonight. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It will avail in your life. My brother there upstairs, it will avail in your life. Sister over there, tonight the prayer will avail your life in Jesus' name. Number one is the proclamation. The proclamation. Number two is the prescription. Number three, the preservation. The preservation. You know, tonight, the miracle you get will be permanent. You will give testimony. You know, somebody said, you know, if I, if I get something and I talk about it, they, uh, they are watching there, they will take it away from me. Who are the day as powerful as Jesus Christ? Who are those people as mighty as Jesus Christ? This one, you will get this one. You will testify about this one. And nobody, 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 nobody in hell, nobody in the sea, nobody in the ocean, nobody, any bush spirit, nobody in the community, nobody anywhere will take this away from you in Jesus' name. Because the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man, Abilith Moth, preservation, preservation of your healing and uh, health you are healthy yeah. i won't see you weak again yeah. i won't see you sick again yeah. you'll stand like a soldier yeah. walk like a soldier yeah. run like a soldier yeah. and everything god has created you for to accomplish here on earth you will accomplish yeah. you will be an achiever I'm looking at how the achiever, 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 you will achieve in Jesus' name. Hey, look at this, look at this, Exodus chapter 15. We're looking at the preservation of your healing and health. Your, the preservation, I'm coming to, I'm coming to uh, this in uh, Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, after your healing, how do you preserve your health? You keep on reading the promises of God. You got it by faith, you'll keep it by faith. You got it through the word, you'll keep it through the word. You got it by saying, Yes, I believe my God, my God can never fail. And you keep it by saying, I believe my God, my God will never fail. Your God will not fail you. And will do that which is right in his sight. That's how you got it. That's how you got it. That's how you're going to keep it. And then it says, and give ear to his commandment and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee which have brought upon the Egyptians. You know, if you are staying with the Egyptians, Egyptian disease, Egyptian sickness is contagious. You stay with them, they'll pass it on to you. You stay with them, you lie down with them, they'll pass it on you. You embrace them, they'll pass it on you. You practice their culture, they'll pass it to you. You practice their tradition, they'll pass it on to you. And you practice their idolatry, they'll pass it on to you. They say it's one of us, it's one of us. You are no more one of them. And so, as you, to preserve your healing and preserve your health, you will not stay with those Egyptians, and then you'll see, I am the Lord that healeth thee. You'll be confessing all the time, he is my Lord, he has healed me, and the healing is going to be permanent. Your healing is going to be permanent. Hey, look, at, look at Job, look at Job. The preservation of your healing and health. Job chapter 17 i'm reading from verse 9 job chapter 17 i'm reading from verse 9 
it says in verse 9 look at this one look at this one verse 9 it says the righteous also shall hold on his way and he that has clean hands shall be stronger and stronger when you were sick you became weak you couldn't stand you don't carry your body you couldn't carry anything you were weak but tonight that sickness is going tonight that weakness is going and then you are going to become strong and how do you keep that strength after the healing to become stronger and stronger by the day stronger and stronger by the week stronger and stronger as you move on so that no more weakness no more incapacity or no more a delimitating a, a kind of sickness everything taken away stronger and stronger you keep your hands clean thank god your hands are clean washed in the blood of the lamb you keep everything clean and you'll be stronger and stronger in jesus name and the righteous shall hold on on his way he that is righteous will not you know go into the evil in society all the bribery and corruption in society he'll not go into them he'll be stronger and stronger and you will be stronger and stronger in jesus name Look at, look at uh, Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. I'm reading here from verse 20. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. The promises of God, chew them, swallow them, digest them meditate on them possess them and claim them the promises of god the word of god that comes to you don't wait for only another power night between now and the next power night all the promises of such for them your bible claim them claim them claim them and swallow them that is mine he says let them not depart from thine eyes keep them in the midst of thine heart for they are alive unto those that find them. And tell me what follows there. Let your neighbors hear. Let your brothers and sisters hear that. Health to all their flesh. Every joint in your body will have this health. Every bloodstream in your body will have this health your lungs and your kidneys and every part will have this health this word of god will penetrate everywhere in your life and you are going to remain healthy and strong in jesus name look at this you must mark this one now in your bible what i'm going to show you now isaiah chapter 33 isaiah chapter 33 I'm reading from verse 24, 33, verse 24. This one must be part of your life. It must be your experience. Do you have your Bible there? I said, do you have your Bible there? And do, have you opened Isaiah chapter 33? Look at verse 24. It says, the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick inhabitants in deeper life inhabitants in the church of god inhabitants abiding in christ the inhabitants shall not say i am sick after the final amen tonight you will not say i am still sick i am still weak no it cannot be i said it cannot be I bring healing to you in the name of Jesus. I bring deliverance to you in the name of Jesus. I bring power to you in the name of Jesus. I bring renewal to you in the name of Jesus. The inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Did I hear an amen there? Now, John chapter 5, verse 14. John chapter 5, verse 14. I'm reading John chapter 5, verse 
14. It says in John chapter 5 and in verse 14, look at the words of Jesus Christ. It says, afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple. After tonight, where will Jesus find you? After your healing, where will Jesus find you? After the showers of blessing, where will Jesus find you? After your verifiable miracle, where will Jesus find you? He found him in the temple, and he said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. If Jesus said so, it is so. If Jesus confirms it, it is right. If Jesus said you are made whole, and then there is no, you don't need to go and check up here, check up there, check up there. He says you are made whole, lo and behold, you are made whole. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe, you are made whole in Jesus' name. How do you preserve that healing? How do you preserve that health? How do you preserve that deliverance? How do you preserve that dominion? It says, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest it was sin come unto thee. Seen no more. You know, some people say, I, I don't understand that one. You'll understand. You know, and sometimes you go to the doctor and the doctor checks you up. Before they give you any medication, whatever, they give you a form to fill. And, uh, you know, they say, do you have this in your family? They say, do you smoke? They say, do you drink? They say, do you do this or do that? And you have to fill the form and make sure that you're feeling the right thing so that they will know the cause of the problem. And then you give that form, paper, back to the doctor. He looks at it, he said, we can fix you up. We can settle this one. And after that, he, has, he now gives you treatment. And behold, you are well. And Dr. Jesus will make you well tonight. <laughs> Dr. Jesus will make you strong tonight. And then he says, please come back and visit me. I go back to visit the doctor. And the doctor has discovered that your lungs are having some problems. And he's trying to clean it up and clear it up for you. But now he says, you know something, you have to, I can't do this for you. You have to do this yourself. Drink and smoke no more, lest you die prematurely. The smoking and the drinking you know, has been eating up your lungs and is making you to have this a tendency. It's still the first stage. It's not too bad yet. You can still be all right, but drink and smoke no more, lest you die prematurely. That's what Jesus is saying here, that sin no more. All those things of the night, all those things of the devil, all those things that will put you in the hands of Satan directly, and Satan will say, he has come again, knock him down. You will not go there again. They will not be able to knock you down anymore. And so you check up your life. He says, see no more, lest it was seen come on you. Better things are coming in your life. Greater things are coming in your life. Happier things are coming in your life. You remain well in Jesus' name. I will remain well. I said I will remain well. The preservation of your health and healing. Look at Third John, Third John, Third John. I'm reading from verse two. Third John, reading from verse two. I'm waiting for you. I've opened it already. Open your Bible. Open your Bible. This one is for you. Say, this is for me. So John, verse 2, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. You will prosper. Anybody that says you'll not prosper is a liar. Jesus said, you will prosper. Yeah. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. Number one, look at this. And be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Your soul is the center of your life. Your soul, your spirit is the center of your life. It says, the condition. For your body to retain that health is that 
your soul will be well. Your soul will be linked to God. Your soul will not accept any sin of sin, any sin of evil. And number one, the work of your hands will prosper. Number two, your body will remain well. Number three, your soul will prosper in Jesus' name. Number one, the proclamation. The Lord is telling you tonight, proclaiming you to, to you tonight, He will come and heal you. That place where you are is your hospital tonight spiritually. The Lord will touch you. The Lord will heal you. Number two, the prescription. Pray in the name of Jesus and believe that once you mention the name of Jesus and we mention the name of Jesus, it is done. And he will send his word to you. He'll make you well. And after the healing tonight, because I know you are getting it tonight. I'm getting it tonight. I'm getting it tonight. Whatever you say will be fulfilled for you. After that, make sure that you keep in the midst, in the center of the will of God. And God will maintain that healing in your life. Look at Matthew, Matthew chapter 8, verse 7. Matthew chapter 8, I'm reading from verse 7. And Jesus says unto him, I will come and heal him. Where is that him there? Why is that her there? He'll come and heal you. I said he's come, he'll come and heal you. Look at verse 8. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only. Speak the word only. Speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. Your servant shall be healed. Oh, you say, I don't have any servant. Yes, you do. Your hands, that's your servant serving you. Your legs, those are your servant serving you. Your nose and throat, serving you your head your brain serving you every part of your body is for the service of your body to take you from here and take you here to take you to the mountain top you are going there and everyone everything that serves you all the members of your body will be healed tonight in jesus name speak the word only speak the word only that's all we need tonight and the word is sent to you tonight and you are healed in jesus name rise up and receive rise up and claim it rise up and possess everything you need tonight verifiable miracle verifiable deliverance verifiable, verifiable moving of mountain everything you need tonight open your mouth and tell him your miracle has arrived your miracle has arrived your miracle has arrived open your mouth and talk to the lord and say lord i've heard the proclamation i've heard about the prescription i've heard about the preservation and tonight is my night tonight is my night it's doing it right now. It's doing it right now. It's doing it right now. You are not going to go back as you came. You are weak. You are going to be strong. You are sick. You are going to be well. You are oppressed. You are going to be delivered. You are poor. You are going to be prospered. You are jobless. He's going to provide for you. And the mountain that overwhelmed your life, the Lord is going to take that mountain away tonight. It is yours, it is yours, it is yours. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Everything you say to the Lord tonight, he will answer. Everything you say to the Lord tonight, he will answer. Everything you open your mouth to say tonight, he will answer. The proclamation, your healing. The proclamation, your deliverance. The proclamation, your freedom. The proclamation, your forgiveness, the proclamation, your redemption is there, is there, is there. Call upon the name of the Lord, whosoever, whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord 
shall receive this miracle whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord will be totally set free that's a proclamation that's a word that comes from heaven and it cannot go back to heaven void there's a fulfillment tonight there's empowering tonight there is a freedom tonight there's a healing tonight it cannot fail it cannot fail it cannot fail the word that is sent forth the word that is sent forth is getting to you there it's getting to you there it's getting to you there it will enter your brain it will enter your mind it will enter your bones it will enter your eyes the word the word of power the word of authority the word of anointing that breaks every yoke is there tonight is there tonight is there tonight you cannot escape the miracle of god tonight you cannot escape the salvation of god tonight you cannot escape the deliverance of god tonight tell him every everything you tell him tonight is fulfilled everything you tell him tonight is fulfilled the word is in your mouth you can break that yoke with the word of your mouth you can send back that spirit of death with the word of your mouth what to say on your wife to be well she'll be well what to say on your husband to be well he'll be well what to say and command on that child to be made whole he'll be made whole tell him tell him tell him it's a night of your power the night of his power in your life the night of powerful deliverance and the night of powerful manifestation it's yours it's yours there's a proclamation that has come to you there's a prescription he has given to you and as the preservation is going to maintain your life your miracle is right there open your mouth wide and the almighty god will feel it receive receive tell him yes i believe yes i believe yes i believe it's mine your work has been done already the healing is being performed already the deliverance is taking place already power dominion authority anointing that breaks every yoke is flowing it's flowing to you there it's getting to you there thank the lord thank the lord thank the lord he sent his word he sent his word and it reaches every part of your body anywhere that pain is it reaches you there anywhere that infirmity is it reaches you there you've got it tonight you've got it tonight you've got it tonight affirm it and it will confirm it affirm it and it will confirm it will speak his word and that word is said to you where you have the challenge and the problem the word of your mouth let it agree with the words of god that he has sent to you today the word of your testimony let it agree the words of your confession let it agree even your thoughts let it agree with the thoughts of god and the words of god 
confirmation tonight. In your life, confirmation tonight. Against every sickness, confirmation tonight. Against all the powers of darkness, confirmation of the word of God tonight. It's happening now. It's happening now. It's happening now. He cannot fail. His word cannot fail. Every arrow of the enemy is broken. All the weapons of the enemy that shattered. All the chains of the shackles that bind you, they're broken. You're free. Declare it, you're free. Affirm it, you're free. Confess it, you're free. Believe it, you're free. Surely he has borne our grief. Surely he has carried our sorrows. Surely it was meeting. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Surely by stripes I am healed. By stripes I am healed. By stripes I am healed. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Accept it now, believe it now, confess it now, affirm it now. In Jesus' name we pray. I got it. I got it. I got it. You will not lose it in Jesus' name. Raise up those hands for a confirmation. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name tonight. Thank you for your love. You called us together to bless us. And Lord, like the rain that comes from heaven, which nobody can send back. Showers of blessing have come tonight upon everyone in Jesus' name. <laughs> miracles upon everyone today. Definite miracles. Real miracles. Visible miracles. Positive miracles. Verify the miracle upon every life tonight in Jesus' name. You said you sent your word and you healed them all. Lord, I pray anyway the sickness in the head, on the throat, in the chest, in the tummy, in the joints, in the muscles, in the bones, anywhere there is sickness tonight, I command, come out in Jesus' name. All the manifestations of evil spirit, of evil power, of demonic affliction, of something, boo spirit, water spirit, familiar spirit, whatever is tormenting your people, anybody there tonight, you are cast out in Jesus' name. The irresistible anointing that breaks every yoke, breaks every yoke in your life. You're free. Your brain is free. Your blood system is free. Your kidneys are healed. Your lungs are healed. Tuberculosis, no way again. HIV AIDS, no way again. Cancer, no way again. Be healed in Jesus' name. Whatever is the root cause of defeat and poverty in your life, I approach that thing right now. 
you are free. You are blessed. Your soul is blessed. Your body is healed. The work of your hands will prosper in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray every miracle your people have received tonight will be permanent. Your people will be stronger and stronger. And the joy of the Lord will always be their strength. I pray, Lord, you put joy in every heart, happiness in every soul, a song in every mouth, and testimony from everyone. I pray, Lord, what your people have got, they will not lose. They'll testify about it everywhere. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. They say it's all gloom. We see circumstances spelling doom. And yes, it's a real struggle to move. Longing for a breakthrough, but no room. And now, you're boxed in. Seems there's no way out. And just then. To say it, I am God, I change not. He will hasten his word. A performance will come to your life in Jesus' name. It's time to demonstrate the power of the Lord in your life in Jesus' name. Come alive for GCK Positivity. Look ahead. It's a large field of possibilities at the larger state, North Central Nigeria. Niger State is the alpha location this september 2022 22nd to 27th 1600 hours gmt the guard of all possibilities live at the trade fair complex shango abuja road mina niger state and broadcast to the world live their satellite social media radio and television featuring special conference where ministers and professionals will experience faith for all possibility. And the Impact Academy will be a super flight of extraordinary pace setters for all youth, young adults, and professionals. The humble, honest, and holiness-inspired man of excellence, your GCK convener, Dr. W.F. Kumui, will be ministering along with the American gospel singer, Paul Balot, the God of all possibilities for everyone, governors, Kings and Queens. My name is Dr. Shen Zagbai Nohu, the former Deputy Governor of Niger State, and I'm glad to be associated with Pastor Kumui. I want to use this opportunity to invite all Nigerians to the global crusade with Kumui. GCK, this September, your season of possibility. Of coming into your presence tonight, we pray that as, as we have come, you will bless us greatly in Jesus' name. We pray that the word we hear from you tonight, we have a lasting effect in our lives in Jesus' name. As we start with the session of choruses now, may we be greatly blessed through the lyrics of these choruses in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know you've answered. For in Jesus' mighty name I've prayed. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For Thou hast created all things are for the pleasure they are. And we are created, Thou art worthy, Lord. Worthy, O Lord. And power. Oh Lord, my God, 
Our excellent is your name in all the earth. Our excellent is your name, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, my God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. How wonderful is your name, O oh Lord. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, praise the Lord. Come to J-E-S-U-S-J-O-Y, we follow. Come to J-E-S-U-S-J-O-Y, we follow. J-O-Y, 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 we follow. Come to J-E-S-U-S, J-O-Y, we follow. It's no longer I that live it, but Christ that liberty me it is no longer i that live it but christ that liberty me in me in me Whosoever is born of God, overcome on the wall, hallelujah. Overcome at the world, hallelujah. Overcome at the world. God must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jesus must be honored in my life every day. What about you? My Savior must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jesus must be honored in my life every day. Hallelujah. I'll live for Jesus day after day. I'll live for Jesus. Let's come what may. The Holy Spirit, I will obey. I'll live for Jesus day after day, day after day. Hallelujah. Let's come what may. Day after day. Hallelujah. Let's come what may.
Keep me shiny, Lord. Keep me shiny, Lord. In all I say or do, that the world may see Christ lives in me and learn to love Him to keep me shiny. Keep me shiny, Lord, keep me shiny, Lord, in all I say or do, that the world may see Christ lives in me, and learn to love him to keep me shiny. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. In my heart. In my soul. Lord, I want in my heart, in my soul, Lord. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all the things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Seek ye first. And this righteousness. I know my Redeemer living. I know my Redeemer living. I know my Redeemer living. He liveth forevermore. I know. Amen. You are welcome to tonight's Monday Bible study in Jesus' name. We want to welcome those who are here for the very first time. We want to welcome our visitors. If you are here for the very first time, we want to bring to you the greetings of our general superintendent and the entire church. We request that you please rise on your feet as we want to recognize you and bring you the greetings. Wherever you are, you are coming for the very first time. Can you please rise on your feet? You are welcome, my sister. You are seated. Can you please rise on your feet? You are welcome, my brother. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Our general superintendent, the general superintendent of Deeper Life Bible Church worldwide, is delighted that you are here and is glad that you are here. He wants me to bid you welcome and to tell you that you're coming for the very first time. We will not afford you all the benefits and privileges that God has prepared for you in this church. That as God has used him to bless multitudes in this church and beyond, 
God will also use him to bless you as you keep coming to all our meetings and programs in Jesus' name. Our ushers are standing by you. They will give you a slip to fill. Please collect the slip from them. Fill every information eligibly and correctly and pass them back to them. You may please be seated. You are welcome again in Jesus' name. I want to bring to us our service days. Every Monday like this, we have a Monday Bible study. And it's a time that we are being taught systematically and expositorily by our general superintendent himself. And we are privileged to be here today because it's our turn to be here with other service group that normally comes here. But afterwards, we will meet in our various district for those of us who are not from Shomolu and Bagada. The time is 5.15 p.m. every Monday. On Thursdays, we have a Thursday revival and evangelism training service by 6 p.m. in our various districts and locations. Every third Thursday of the month, we have our power night, and our GS takes it himself, and it's a time when the power of God is demonstrated to save, to heal, and to deliver. And the time is 6 p.m. On Sundays, we have a Sunday devotional worship service in our various locations. The time is 7.45 a.m. Tomorrow, Tuesday, 13th of September, 2022, all Tuesday leaders and workers are to be here by 5.15 p.m. Also, on the 20th of September, 2022, all Tuesday leaders will come for Tuesday development meeting here by 5, 15 p.m. Next Sunday, 18th of September, 2022, Group 2, will be having their combined service here. All group two will be having their combined service here by 7.45 a.m. prompt. We please implore that we bring all our invitees with Global Crusade and other outreach converts to join us for this service. Global Crusade. Glory be to God. That September 22 Global Crusade we hold from Thursday 22nd to Tuesday 27th, September 2022 at Trade Fair Complex, Shango, Abuja Road, Mina, Niger State. The team, as I have seen on the screen, the God of all possibilities, ministers, professional conference on 23rd, 26th, and 27th September 2022, all mornings. All our church workers are to attend in the group headquarters. Also, the Impact Academy, as you see on the screen, for youth, teenagers, campus students, COP members, and young adults on Saturday, 24th, September 2022, in the morning. Publicity for the crusade and all meetings to continue in earnest. We we'll rise as we sing from our gospel hymns and songs. Two six zero, two sixty. Gracious spirits, dwell with me. Gracious spirits, dwell with me. I myself will gracious be, and with words that help and heal, will thy life in my reveal, and with actions. Bold and meek, would for Christ my Savior speak. Truthful spirits, dwell with me. I myself would truthful be, and with wisdom, kind and clear, let the life in my appear, and with actions, brotherly speak my Lord's sincerity. 
tender spirit dwell with me. I myself will tender be, shut my heart up like a flower. In temptations that some are, open it when shines the sun, and its love my fragrance own. Mighty spirit, dwell with me. I myself will mighty be. Mighty soul has to prevail. Where unaided man must fail, ever by a mighty hope, pressing on and bearing up. Holy Spirit, dwell with me. I myself would only be. Separate from sin, I would choose and cherish all things good. And whatever I can be, give to him who gave me thee. Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, 
we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. Genesis. Chapter 30. Genesis. Chapter 30. And when Rachel saw that she bare Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children, or else I die. And Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel, and he said, Am I in God's stead, who hath withheld from thee the fruit of the womb? And she said, Behold my maid Bilhah, go in unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees, that I may also have children by her. And she gave him Bilhah her handmaid to wife, and Jacob went in unto her. And Bilhah conceived, and bare Jacob a son. And Rachel said, God hath judged me, and hath also heard my voice, and hath given me a son, Therefore called she his name Dan. And Bilhah, Rachel's maid, conceived again, and bare Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, With great wrestlings have I wrestled with my sister, and I have prevailed. And she called his name Naphtali. When Leah saw that she had left bearing, she took Zilpah, her maid, and gave her Jacob to wife. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bare Jacob a son. And Leah said, A troop cometh, and she called his name Gad. And Zilpah, Leah's maid, bare Jacob a second son. And Leah said, Happy am I, for the daughters will call me blessed. And she called his name Asher. And Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest, and found mandrakes in the field, and brought them unto his mother Leah. Then Rachel said to Leah, Give me, I pray thee, of thy son's mandrakes. And she said unto her, Is it a small matter that thou hast taken my husband? And wouldest thou take away my son's mandrakes also? And Rachel said, Therefore he shall lie with thee tonight for thy son's mandrakes. And Jacob came out of the field in the evening, and Leah went out to meet him and said, Thou must come in unto me, for surely I have hired thee with my son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night. And God hearkened unto Leah, and she conceived, and bare Jacob the fifth son. And Leah said, God hath given me my hire, because I have given my maiden to my husband. And she called his name Issachar. And Leah conceived again, and bare Jacob the sixth son. And Leah said, God hath endued me with a good dowry. Now will my husband dwell with me, because I have borne him six sons. And she called his name Zebulun. And afterward she bare a daughter, and called her name Dinah. And God remembered Rachel, and God hearkened to her, and opened her womb. And she conceived, and bare a son, and said, God hath taken away my reproach. And she called his name Joseph, and said, The Lord shall add to me another son. And it came to pass, when Rachel had born Joseph, that Jacob said unto Laban, Send me away, that I may go unto mine own place and to my country. Give me my wives and my children, for whom I have served thee, and let me go. For thou knowest my service which I have done thee. And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thine eyes, tarry. For I have learned by experience that the Lord hath blessed me for thy sake. And he said, Appoint me thy wages, and I will give it. And he said unto him, Thou knowest how I have served thee, and how thy cattle was with me. For it was little which thou hadst before I came, and it is now increased unto a multitude, and the Lord hath blessed thee since my coming. 
And now, when shall I provide for mine own house also? And he said, What shall I give thee? And Jacob said, Thou shalt not give me anything. If thou wilt do this thing for me, I will again feed and keep thy flock. I will pass through all thy flock today, removing from thence all the speckled and spotted cattle, and all the brown cattle among the sheep, and the spotted and speckled among the goats, and of such shall be my hire. So shall my righteousness answer for me in time to come.